like yeah. three layers into the pocket. Yep. Oh, so who did Daybreak use the first two games? I think he he went fell. Oh God. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Diddy. Diddy game one. Okay. Into Falco. Yep. Then Mario Fox Falco. Jeez. So he didn't bust out the cloud once. No. And I heard he. Well, from what Jordan knew earlier, he hasn't busted out all day. Huh. Hmm. Melonia probably talking smack behind his back. I can imagine. He's like, dog. What are you doing? Just pick cloud and just beat these fools. Yeah. But instead, you're playing what? Falco? Yeah. Mario? Diddy? <laughs> Wait a second, uh, Fox? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but honestly, Daybreak kind of proving all of his co-main slash secondaries can kind of keep up with the best of Michigan, though. Yeah. So here we go, game one on Final Destination. Now I'm coming out of losers to try and get his revenge on Daybreak here. Daybreak, on the other hand, going as Felco right off the start here, not playing any yep. games. No Diddy. Yep, and the traditional Daybreak laser there to start the match off. It's. I'm thinking about it now. If he knew they were going FD, uh, I'm a little surprised that he didn't go, like, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk and think and stuff. Oh, He's dead. Yeah. He's dead. Jeez, only 6% on Nav, so this is definitely a rough start for Daybreak here. As well as, you didn't see winner's finals, Daybreak was down 2-0. Down 2-0, yeah. reverse 3-0. Reverse yeah. But, I mean, right now, Nam with such a healthy lead. But here's the jab. Going to try to find some more damage. But yeah. Nam just landing with his quick uh, tilts, just stopping Daybreak from really extending his combos too much. Yeah. And right now, Nam doing everything he can to keep Daybreak out of neutral because Daybreak's neutral game can Do you be think so that was going to kill that f slash in my head? I mean, probably not, but it's still <laughs> stressful to watch. <laughs> Look at him warm up for that thing. He's literally I stretching know. all the muscles in his arms. Jeez. I mean, it's just so intimidating to watch those kind of situations. Back are not going to be enough to take it, though. Ooh, Daybreak way out there oh. actually finds the side beat. <gasps> Gets oh. the footstool and then perfect pivots back into the center Unne stage. Unnecessary styling on the Daybreak. 15-yard penalty, first down. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> all right, well, Daybreak lost his first stock in like 30 seconds, but yeah. what does he do to counter back? Styles all over Nam. Yeah, but right now Nam has him in the kill range, so as long as he can keep him off stage like this, I'll read the side beat back on the stage, but wasn't quite sure on the spacing there. Nam also looked like he read that air dodge as well from Daybreak, just not spacing the vanish well enough. Forward throw, no fair. Oh, oh, reading oh, the side B once here. again, Daybreak. Let's go to ledge, dog. <laughs> like, let's, yeah. let's stop with this. Yeah, I mean, Nam's been doing a great job of reading the side Bs and getting the spacing. It's just a matter of getting the conversion next. Yeah, he's just not either like getting there quick enough or not hitting the grab button quick. I thought he was gonna like do something cool. Well, I don't know. Yeah, but I mean that fair definitely was good pressure to keep him alive. Yeah, back air, oh. great tech. Gonna need that if you're gonna play uh, spacey on FD, especially. Yeah. They're going to send him off stage here, so he's definitely got his face this right. Getting, oh, coming oh. out with the fair. That's a great option to mix it up. Yeah, those last few hitboxes saving him from that up air. Oh, my God. One down tilt, and, like, Daybreak might be able to add enough okay. damage. I, I've never – he's alive, but – Okay. That was actually a really good side B that mixed up this time. Yep. 182%. This has to be fair kill range. I am thinking so. Um, especially by ledge, I'm definitely thinking so. Back air almost killing from center stage, something you can't say too often about Sheik. Sheik's everywhere crying right now. I'm crying right now, like this looks hard. Like <laughs> 194, because all you know Daybreak needs is like a down tilt, an up air, and then a, like a back air or something like that, and this, that's his game. Yeah, I mean, whenever you're fighting with your back, or Falco's back to you, it's just so stressful, because it's like, you know that frame four is coming out. Oh my god, I thought, okay. There it is again, up tilt finally, 73% actually gets the air dodge, there but it instead is. Nam capitalizing. Jeez. That was way too stressful. Yeah, Daybreak looked like he knew that air dodge was coming, yep. just not able to put a hitbox in the exact spot. Yeah, so uh, let's watch the shenanigans that occurred here. Great edge guarding from Nam. Able to just string him off the ledge here. There. Wait for that Ooh. great back here. Yeah, that, that other stock that uh, Daybreak took, though, the mm -hmm. one with the side B. Yeah, that was slick. Come went down there and even jumped off his head. Yeah. All right. Switching colors. Obviously, that was the issue. Couldn't see his yeah. character with the black background. It just makes yep. tons of sense. Exactly. Uh -huh. why, do you, why do you think Game & Watch just love this stage? Exactly. <laughs> it's, like, hey, it's like the stage against Advo back in the day. The yep. white Game & Watch, the sunlight shows up. Yep. Like, what am I supposed to do? This guy's <laughs> literally invisible.
reverse ninja. <sighs> How dare him. But uh, Daybreak, on the other hand, is like, I don't want to camouflage. I don't want to stick out. Yep. Actually, kind of looks like FD. Yeah, a little bit. But uh, on ledge again, a spot we've seen Daybreak at a lot, but yeah. so far not doing too bad. And I feel like Nam's been trying to apply the ledge guard game as much as he can against Daybreak here. And it's it's crazy because we saw Nam earlier. Oh, he forced that air dodge. Yep, just a little bit lower and he could have caught that, but Daybreak just at the right height to be able to get out of second one. Oh, he's like, dog, you coming at me with an air heal? Wait a second. Okay, I'll back air you. Yep. And ooh, I like the I like the pressure just just jumping in his yep. face, threatening back air. You keep mixing up that timing. And he still keeps optic for center stage and like we've been saying how Nam reads it. Ooh, that was there really good. Is. Yeah, I mean, as nice as that reflector is, it's not going to stop something coming at you diagonally. Especially with that really bad end lag it has. Yep. Down tilt, though. Look, possibly look for back air. Nam, though, just dancing outside of his range right now. And the one thing as well is, like, Falco is pretty slow, so Nam's getting a lot of free needle charge and using those needles really effectively to find the stock, yep. find some percent. Oh, waited. I don't know. Okay, Nam is going to make it back, but... Yep. Gets the up air, nice air dodge read. Gonna force him back in the air here. Yeah, Derek kind of looked a little desperate with that back air, back air up smash, but I mean, those are options that will take the stock, and Derek needs to take yep. it soon. Yeah, but I'm able to perfect shield that down tilt there. Ooh, back air, not gonna actually hit him off the stage. Derek way Ooh. out there. This is definitely gonna put him in a rough spot. Very nice, recognizing that he had to side B. Once again, now I'm going to make oh. it back. The up smash clipping Nam barely. Yeah, and that's an opening to start something for Daybreak here. He just has to keep his stock alive as long as possible. And we saw how long that can be. We saw him at 200% the other game. That is <laughs> definitely uh, not a problem Daybreak's been having for sure. Yep. Oh, coming down with the down air. I love that mix up. Oh, here we like, go. Okay. Uh, going to air dodge through the bouncing fish as well. The up tilt a little too aggressive on shield, but... Yeah. yeah, we're seeing Daybreak start to try and mix up some grabs here, recognizing that he's been using a lot of aerials on that shield, starting to condition them a little bit. Oh, wow. Actually, almost getting punished for using that uh, reflector. <laughs> but up throw, up air. This One. is a full rage foul. I know, man. This is how it's been so far. Now it's been having to deal with this rage, and it's been very scary, but so far... Being pretty successful at it. Yep, Fair actually sending him behind him this time. Finally mixing it up just like you've been wishing for, going to the ledge with that side beat. Boom, when you're high percent and you've been going, going to stage the whole entire game, the whole entire set, the ledge yep. is a good mix. Oh, oh roll behind wow. him, S smash. Okay. That's, what? Somewhere out there right now, calories is smiling down upon him. I was just about to Hitting say like the a calories broken combo. calories combo, <laughs> just not down saying. Yep, the modified calories combo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, rolled behind him, and I think what was what it was was Nam wanted to dash away and charge the needles, mm -hmm. reverse the needles, and just caught him in dash really hard. Yeah. Man, that was a great comeback by Daybreak, and that just shows you how scary Daybreak can be because if he gets momentum, he will carry it so hard. Yeah, especially with a character like Falco that definitely has no issues with killing. Yep. And you're going to let him get max rage. Not let him, obviously. Nam's yeah. trying to take the stock, but you're going to allow him to get max rage. Yeah. And it's just crazy thinking... And all things considered, how relatively balanced this game is compared to other ones. Because it's like, here's a character that most people consider middle of the road. Mm -hmm. Able to tangle with one of the top tiers. Oh, yeah. And it's, it really just depends on, you know, your uh, your talent as well as your game plan, you know? Yeah. If you come in here and you go, I know what this is, this is what Nam likes to do. Yeah. yeah, you can capitalize with even Falco. Yeah. Like, we have a Ganon main here that actually does pretty all right. Like, this yeah. game, if you want to play low tier, do it. This is the game to do it. Yeah. Oh my god, jabs at the ledge though. Even with that bad laser, Jeez. baiting him in. Up throw up there, almost getting it. Yeah, I mean, Daybreak's just been doing such a good job of keeping Nam at the ledge here. And just reading these fares as Nam's been trying to just get a chain like this going. Real quick, has Daybreak ever won a Smash Shield? I feel like he has, at least once. No? no. We're good? No. I think he's gotten second like twice. Okay. Wow. So Daybreak coming out of winter I'll side. Check. I'll check. This is definitely well if we are correct about that, coming out of winter side is definitely the advantage he wants. Maybe taking his first smash field today against Nom? Yeah. Nom said no low one. He didn't realize, oh god, I still have to play Daybreak. <laughs> yeah, I mean 
As much as... Oh, oh that was so good. So well spaced. Threatening that back air so well. And just hit him with the up smash. Yeah. Nom never saw it coming. Yeah, I mean, that attack just put his foot out there a little bit too far, so... Nom, no rage here. Definitely going to make it a little bit more difficult to get that kill here. Yeah, definitely. As gets the fair, no bouncing fish. Going to look for the back air, something we've been seeing a lot from Nom. And I think Daybreak's starting to adjust to that a little bit. Yep. I mean, so he's just trying all these options right now to take off the stock, but Daybreak just dancing around him. Oh, off their neck. Cross up. Wow, just enough to do it. Yeah, the no DI, sparks. The DI cross up on the Daybreak definitely was the uh, reason that stock was taken, but uh, you could definitely tell when Daybreak has a read on somebody, right? Like, he yeah. uh, he's throwing up smashes at 30, 20, 40, because he knows that Nam will probably land into it yeah. if oh. his read is correct. Now I'm getting some pressure going here. Oh, great back air. And actually, now I'm not going to get anything off that platform throw. And here comes Daybreak. Not going to be able to keep him from coming back there. But honestly, holding Nam in the corner for a split second, Ooh. great pivot grab. Up air, not going to be enough to kill, but definitely going to put him into a kill range here. Another up throw. Woo. I think the next time Daybreak does it, he's going to expect that uh, yep. air dodge. Very nice tech read there on landing. Oh, gets that grab, though. Here comes Nam. Oh, very nice, but wow, just barely squeaking that in past the up smash. The Nair calling out almost a fully charged up smash almost killed the Nam. Ooh. Was What was that off of? Because it looks like he did it in towards the stage for a moment there. I don't even know. Was there a moment there? Oh, my God, but Nam at this keeping oh. Daybreak off stage and even capitalizing when he tries to take center. Very nice baits here from Nam, just forcing out all these options. Great tech. Now Nam forced to the ledge here. Fair. Oh, the finish. Gonna do it. Wow. I love the idea of Fair, though. I think it was very, very good. A long-lasting hitbox off stage that extends that far. Yep. And at that percent, I think it takes the stock. Yeah. And honestly, that was great capitalization on Nam in that situation, just keeping the edge guard extended as long as he can, because as long as he can keep Daybreak out of that neutral situation, it takes a little bit of that worry about dying to those kill moves that he has. What do you got for us, Dakota? I did uh, I did get confirmation Daybreak hasn't won one yet. Wow. So this will be his first one if he can pull it off. Yep, coming from Winter's side, a good way to start it off. But he is down 1-2 right now. But we saw some crazier things happen in Winter's Finals. Yeah. But sticking with Falco this time around, so we're not going to see the menagerie of characters coming out. I think, oh my god, that 48-57. Falco oh. combo game, okay. especially Daybreak's combo game, is ridiculous. He gets the down tilt there, but not able to convert off of it. But the backer going to send Nam flying. Thank God Nam didn't air dodge off that down tilt. I think that was a down air coming from a mile yeah. away. Like, oh, the rundown. Ooh. But Nam wisely jumping. Oh, okay. what, they both? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Smash 4, folks. Hey, guys. Enjoy your time here. <laughs> wow. Both Any instant, you both could just die. Yep. So Jeez. even game, I guess. Like. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, now I'm reading that tomahawk there, able to grab him, get a little bit off of it, but threatening down tilt. So what, what does Nam do? Try to jump above it, but Daybreak gets the grab for 52. Man. Another down tilt, waits it. Oh, almost got the up air reset there. But here we go. Nam able to get a combo started. Still extending it here, getting that read. Yeah, it looks like Daybreak's really scared of the F tilt, so he's just holding shield yeah. a little too long, and Nam's getting a lot of free grabs because of it. Yep. Ooh, just clipping him with that upper back. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad town and city. It's a bad stage. People wonder why I don't like this stage. That right there. If this was a Lilat, Lilat wouldn't carry you off to your death. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Y'all out here sleeping on the true villain. I. Uh, that was crazy. Well, wow. oh, he's, he's side beat in the little less. I didn't even know that. Okay. Sorry. Um, yeah, this platform. Just me. Just a soft hit. Oh, okay. and he rolled as well. Can we be Tech a little roll. real, real?